Hi guys, it's me Zim and welcome to a, another video. We are going to be playing Your Adventure. Uh, this is a, a free little RPG, well turn-based RPG game that you can play with a controller, a mouse, and keyboard. And it literally is Your Adventure. Uh, when we go to the new game and click it, uh, you will see what I mean by that. And before I do that... Um, if you guys like the video, please support the channel by liking this video, subscribing, hit the notification bell if you want to. You can always change your mind later and it'll be greatly appreciated. Alright, we're going to press new game. As you notice, I moved my camera from the top left to the bottom right so you can see everything that's going on. So here's our character screen. We can choose what hairstyle we want. I specifically go with... There's a lot of hairstyles to choose from. They're all wacky, but I go with this one most of the time. Change the way your head looks. You could be anth anthropomorphic, be a pot, <laughs> even eye patch, freckles. You can have all sorts of stuff. Be a giant eye. Glasses, regular eyes. Excuse me for the voice crack. Alrighty, so uh, we can change your skin color, but that's something special. We also have body types, which is what clothes you wear. So you can wear this weird space outfit, this, this armor, this outfit, which is my personal favorite. This one, that might be new. Oh, this might be new too, i never seen that one before. Uh, karate outfit. That outfit, you can wear a dress, bandit outfit. This alpha looks pretty cool. Bigger dress, that, office clothes, and it repeats after that. So I'm gonna go with this. And you can depict what uh, class you are. Like, fighter, mage, rogue, a space hero, summoner. You can literally relive your fantasies as a JoJo character if you want to, because that's literally a stand. And that's it. So, I'm going to be a space hero, because I love space heroes. And... I usually go with this weapon. What's your name? Obvious. Confirm. What's your pronouns? Now, this is what diver the part of the diversity in this game is. You get to pick your pronouns. They, them, there. He, him, his. She, her, hers. You can customize your pronouns, too, so you can have any type of pronoun of your choosing. But, um... This is my dude. Dude. Confirm. Uh, we get to place our pick our place of origin. Which could be a medieval kingdom, space station, or supernatural school. Space station, I much prefer. And we get the name to space station. I'm gonna call it... There's no periods, so... This is your choice. Endo is a space station orbiting a dead planet, and you're the newest recruit to its problem-solving task force. Go out and save the space community. And, yep, that's it. We can also try again. You get an achievement for doing that. You should be arriving at Endo shortly. Please keep an eye on your luggage and loved ones as you disembark. Short measures from the consulate. All are welcome here, and we are excited to have you. Please be sure to check out our several different resort areas, but steer clear of the abandoned section of the space station. Please remember, interdimensional beings are strictly barred from Endo. The console is in, unable to enforce this, but just wants to make sure everyone knows. Enjoy your stay. So here we are. Now, this game was made by one person and a friend of his. So, there's a lot of stuff in this game that you can do. Like, you talk to people. Do you know where the food court is? You're the new recruit, right? You ought to know. Get it? Because I'm an otter. That's okay, you don't have to keep talking. 
Avorf and I have been traveling a while to get here. It could be hard out there for two guys traveling by themselves, but we had, had each other so it's always going to be okay. Don't travel alone. Get yourself a friend to travel with. Maybe four. If you're by yourself, it can be rough. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Hey, if you run into trouble, just go back to your last save. You know, you know how to save, right? Use this here pylon. Anytime you see this, you can use this save. Yep, we're gonna do that right now, actually. Yes. Game save. I'm not allowed to throw quarters in the fountain anymore. Apparently not only were in my wishes not being answered, but I was breaking the station's plumbing. Maybe I should wish to fix the plumbing. <laughs> not how that works, buddy. B is to sprint. Or to run. Oh, it's the frame rate. Yo, calm down. Shh, I'm secretly a space princess. Don't tell anyone. Very dangerous people are after me. Why? Because I owe a lot of money to a lot of dangerous people. The government. Because tax evasion. I just don't think space princesses could, should pay taxes. Secret or not. That's, that's a given. Hey, hey, pal. Hit the start button if you want to look in your pockets. Or learn about skills and stuff. The start button. Yeah, this is our stuff. Uh, I'm covering the XP bar, most likely. But I'm level 1, have no money, no experience, and my next level is 100. As you can see, my sprite, my portrait's up there in the top left. And we have items, equipment, skills. And those three slots in the, in the bottom middle. We don't have anything in inventory, we have no key items. And we don't have any skills at the moment. But we can't look at our equipment. We have a training sword, training headband, and training belt. Which each gives us one defense. It's tough out there, but I've learned a few tricks. For instance, as long as you're wearing a piece of training gear, it can help you defend yourself. There's a small window where you can hit A to block enemy damage. Training gear will let you see this window. Hit A when you see this, and you'll be fine. Yeah, there's a little system in the combat where if you press A at the right time when that star appears, um, you won't get freaking got. Or get hurt. Oh good, you're here. As a new recruit to the Palm Solver Force, uh, the PSF, are happy to have you. Before we can get your partner an actual... Get you your partner an actual mission, I have a small training assignment for you. If you head out this room and go right as far as the hall will take you, you'll find yourself on the way to the East Annex of the Space Station. A fuzzball seems to be preventing com uh, commuters onto the side of the station. It's an easy job. Perfect for training. Go take it out. Do you accept your mission? Yes, sir. I guess I thought this was going to be more of a desk job situation. Yes, sir. Taking on competing missions from the console that can raise your status in the space station. If you were liked on the space station, this is going to be during negotiations on their planets and ships. Committing crimes can lower your status. A low status can also assist in certain situations. Go right after leaving the room and follow the hall until you can make it the right. Good luck out there. Now, I do have to note that this game is a demo. We're showing a map of the space station. There seems to be three moving objects on it. Yeah, but uh, the game is this game's a demo. We should be turned off. So this game cuts off at a certain point, but you can't get achievements. And the person who made this game, uh, if I'm correct, their name is Zachary. But they uh, are working on completing this game. So they said to go this way. So here we go. Hello, I'm Lucius, a training hologram. Here to explain how combat in this Godforsaken realm works. In combat, you have to use specific timing to perform your actions. Not everything you do is like that, but in order to dish out damage, you've got to perfect your timing. If you miss it a few times, that's okay, just keep practicing. If your timing is spot on, you'll get a critical hit. Let's give it a try. Would you like to try that again? Nope. The actions and timing change with different party members, so be sure to practice those. And don't be discouraged if you mess up at all, at first. Now, there was a review on this game on Steam, and yes, you can get this game for, on, on Steam, it's free. But, there was a review on Steam of someone saying that this game is boring, the music's annoying, and not only that, the combat is uninspired. I had to disagree wholeheartedly, because one, this is made by one person and their friend, and their friend didn't do much of the music. Zachary did the 
entire game, art style included. And then again, you also have to take in the fact that the combat is not boring. It's actually engaging because you have to do certain actions to even do damage. If you're just spamming the A button, you're not going to get anywhere. Something, and not only that, the guy who did the review had like 0 0.5, like, what was it, 0 0.5 hours on that game, which means he barely played for 30 minutes, or he played only for like 30 minutes at tops, when you should at least, in my opinion, to get a good review, you should at least play the entire game, or if the game is too long, play for at least... One, two, maybe three hours. Two at best, but three if you want to get a thorough review in. That's how I think it should work, but hey, I'm 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 not a charging everybody, so good luck out there. As a training hologram. As a training hologram, right? That's what I said. I'll be rooting for you. Alright, so this is how combat works. What's with the frame rate? That's weird. He said that you fix frame rate inconsistencies, but I guess it still needs to be um, fixed up a bit. So let's fight. Aha! You did no damage, buddy. Try that again. He got deaded. I got a hairball and six experience. That's a wrap. That hairball is a healing item, but it doesn't do a lot of healing. Going to save stations fully heals you, though. And your TP. Where's your technique points? Hot damn, recruit. You did a great job. Now I can give you your first real mission. A large part of the stage has been abandoned, but we've heard rustling there at their might be people living there. When do you take your partner? Head out and figure out what's going on. Only use force if never necessary. Your partner, Theo, is an enthusiastic cat next door. Take him with you and good luck. Okay. You can play with the D-pad or with the left stick. I wonder why the frame rate's being like this. Oh, I forgot to go talk to Theo. That's why I can't go any further. Hey there, pal. Golly, I'm so excited to work with you. Hopefully, you aren't allergic to enthusiasm. My last part apparently was. I still don't know if they really died or if I was lied to and they just transferred. I still think about them whenever I say the, say the last thing I ever said to them. Golly, pal, are you ready to go? Sorry, anyways. Golly, pal, you ready to go? Oh, what the heck? I didn't notice that last time, but apparently his freaking partner left the second he said, Golly, pal, you're ready to go. That's a crappy partner, Theo. Freaking, you should get a better job. If partners are going to come in and do that crap to you. Oh, look, a computer. Let's see what data I can get off of it. I'll see if I can get this working. Why don't you check and see if there's anything in the next room? Oh, golly. Whoa, well, it looks like the power is out on this computer. So I can't open that room, really. I bet there's another way around. I'll work on trying to get this computer up and running. You go around. Search the area real quick. What the heck? Get out of here, you. There was an ant on my computer. I don't know how it got there. Okay, well, I told you that wasn't going to hold us. Yep. Yep. You did. This place is rickety and broken as crap. What are we- where are, what are we in again? For the tenth time, Finley. A video game. A game played on video. One with bad pseudo-pixel graphics. The- and also, this also goes back to that one review. The guys say the graphics are bad. You don't think the- the- developer of the game knows that. He literally had that as one of the text crawls. So, 
your review is null and void and you just made it just because you don't like people making games that are fun. Anyway, I think it's quaint. We're never getting out of here at this rate. Well, why don't we ask the local? Local for help. Local. Hey, are you a crew member on this spaceship? Space station. What? Ships sail through space. This is orbiting around a celestial body, aka stationary. Space station. Right. Are you part of the space station's crew? Yeah, I just joined. Oh, good. Would you be able to help us out? We're trying to find a way out of here. Specific specifically, we're trying to find a portal of some kind. Will you accept this mission? Yes, ma'am. Oh, good. Finley, Christy, and Damien have joined your party. Let's go! Why are we following him? It's an RPG. He is the main character. It's just what we do. Well, I don't want some freaking agency. Wait a sec. Am I being freaking censored? I'm gonna kill Lucas. Or Lucius. I freaking swear. But not really, though. Huh? I swear, that is. You said you'll kill him, you swear, but you can't really. Because you've been censored. It's a good thing I've been censored, or there's some choice words I say to you right now. Small miracles. Game save. Alrighty. Now, there's splotches on the ground, as you can see right in front of me. Those are um, enemy spawners. Basically, if I were to step on them, enemies will spawn and attack us. Like right now. Hello, me again, your guide. You guys are. You guys hear something? Now that you have a party, combat works a little different. For starters, you can press left and right and change who you're controlling. Who does that sound like? Is that. No. Why don't you give it a try and switch to Finley? Very good. I think that might be Lucius. Lucius P. Slender, you. You find that each of your companions are different things. His name is Slender because he's basically a slender race. <laughs> For instance, Finley can heal. Hmm, let's test this. None of you have any damage. I'll fix that. Uh, Sam, are you okay? I'm not healing him. Do you think I care? Now go ahead and go to the skill and use Finley Nano Heal to expertly heal yourself. Hey, the only one controlling me today is me. Wait, I am. Um, I wanted to do that. With the doctor, it's my duty to heal all those that need it. But hitting them as hard as you can with a first aid kit? <laughs> Medicine is more of an art than science. Good job on that heal. Why don't we move on to Damien next? Finally. Damien is unique. I like to think so too. As I was saying, Damien is unique because his base attack is hits multiple times. Give it a try. Would you like to try it again? No. Good job. Then we can make short work of these weak enemies. See you in the next tutorial. Next! No loot. Alright then, moving on. Empty. Empty. Found a keycard. A collected station keycard obtained. Of course, and there rest of abandon this place. Someone left an important key in the cabinet. Who stores important stuff like that anyway? Why was it loose in the cabin to begin with? In my house, keep all my important keys in a loose pile in a bowl by a door. Relevant as always. <laughs> Me again. Sometimes you'll encounter special enemy types. Like that little lad there who's flying. No crap, Sherlock, really? Is that what it's doing? Flying? I would never have guessed. Only long range chance you hit flying enemies. Christy has one of those. Why don't we take a closer look at Crispy? How about we don't? <laughs> Good. You'll find Christy also has a skill that doubles the defense of one of her allies. Normally I can do more than that. I think I'm feeling very limited. But go ahead and give your base attack a try. And hit the little flying lad. We gotta rotate the sword to point at the crosshair and then stab. Would you like to try it again? No. Remember to remember to use Christy whenever you count flying enemies. Being to feel like mistakes have been made. <laughs> wow, that's the line of enemies it sure is intimidating, isn't it? Why don't we see if Damien can take care of those for us? Oh, my turn again so soon? Delightful. 
the immune skill that lets him deal with lines of enemies with ease. I'm full of hidden talents. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Would you mind? Would you like to try that again? No. Good work. Can you believe I'm self-taught? Remember to conserve your tact or TP. Sometimes it's better to take a few hits instead of letting Damien take everyone out. Go out to, to take hits sometimes. That is that that's actually uh that's actually correct because there are actually some enemies in this game, surprisingly, that uh, have better initiative. Or are top priority at times. Hey gang, one last thing I want to tell you about. Enough of this crap. Leave us alone. No. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Here are two new types of enemies. Shielded enemies and damaged enemies. Sam, why don't you give that spiky one an attack? Okay. Eh. Hey, sorry about that. Da damage enemies can only be attacked with long range attacks. Or they can be hit by someone immune to damage like Finley and her robot arms. They're prosthetics, you hack. Something I haven't explained yet is how your turn works. Look up here. This is the number of actions you get per turn, which is usually two. After that, it's the enemy's turn to attack. And anyone who who's acted this turn is vulnerable to being targeted. Alright, now Zim is vulnerable to being attacked. Now how about we use that last action to deal with the shield of the enemy. You'll need someone strong enough to break through that barrier. Incidentally, both Finley and Christie's base attacks are strong enough for this as well. Let's go ahead and give Finley a look for this one. Or we could not. So it's like you should break shield. We try that again. Yes. No. Now it's the enemy's turn. Good luck. And remember, you can hit A right before our attack lands to block some damage. Or be immune to it. Great job solving that. I think you have things from here. See you in the uh, I didn't get to read that. Um. Rotate the sword. Kind of rotated a little too shortly. We did it. Victory. 20 experience. We're almost there. Right then, so from then on, all these platforms will freaking give us issues, so. The hole is open here. You can see in the space. The space station's powerful force fields are holding it all in all the air. It's a laser cannon. But if we fire it, it could punch a hole through that wall over there. Then a path could open up. How do we get it to work? I need a key card. Let's see if we can find one nearby. Oh, of course. Let's get a, the pathway open. Let's find a key card so we can fire this bad boy. Let's not gender the freaking weapon. Oh, of course. Let's just get that pathway open. Seems silly. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Dead as a door in a hub. We did it. 
We should go run back and heal. At the save station. And there we go. Everybody's resurrected. There's a note on the wall. There's a note stuck on the wall here. A little stain with something red. They sent me in here to find an anomaly. That was a cover. A lie. There was no anomaly. There was something here waiting for us. Turn back now if you can. I wonder if you're able. They're harvesting us. The ones with potential. With heroic DNA. Run! And note shows off from here like someone had ba bad happened to them. So they were being chased by something and had time to write a letter. We shouldn't be so critical. We don't know what they had going on. No, I'm with Finley on this one. If I haven't voiced a text or something, or recording, sure, I'd buy it. But I'm pretty sure those are little hearts over that uh, those eyes. Hey, it doesn't matter if you're in a panic. You always gotta heart the eyes. Always go with style. I'm out of the trial. Like I always say. There's a lost bag. It's too gross to pick up, but there's something items inside. Music of our potion. An ether. And a revive. And the key card. Oh good, you might as well take it because someone else was going to use it. Oh yeah, she can't, uh, we can't go through the enemies because they're in the way. I'll have you deal with him. Ah, loser. You tried it, buddy. Try hard. It is dead. We win. Victory! Almost leveled up. Alright, let's do this. Friendly swipe the keycard. It was the wrong keycard. Hmm, what if I just... What did you do? My best. <laughs> let's just go look at the wall. Maybe I can make a door. Deal with these guys with your skill. Alright. And then you can kill this guy instantly. Oh, what the heck happened there? We did it, and we leveled up. Let's get some extra help up in here. Learn a new skill. Big damage. Alright, and then that means we can use the skill. Work log. Hey, computer! I bet I can open that door with this. I'm the greatest hacker in the world, even though I only learned what a computer was six relative months ago. Space investors. In space, no one can hear you invest. It's space invaders, but if you were fighting, uh, if you were fighting people like this, like evil investors and stuff, I think.
Got you. Hacked. That's how it's freaking done. World's best hacker. Oh, I know. I know what to do here. And then you can deal with the rest. That is a door. Uh, 19 XP. Yeah. Dead as a doorknob. Once you learn how the combat works, you get to fight your battles pretty quickly. We could have been through this by now if someone hadn't let the laser can lit the laser cannon on fire. Set that. I'm sorry, it couldn't handle the heat of my passion. I refused to turn down the heat. Uh, Christy, can you make a door to get us through? Yeah, trying to get the laser cannon working was dumb anyway. I'm just going to make a door myself. Mm, I don't know how to build a door. If we find a door, I can use the blueprints. Blueprints. I can make it work. Alrighty. I'm gonna go find a door. Here's a door. Oh. Deal with you real quick. Always deal with the flying enemies first. Yeah, we did it. This will do. You obtain the space station door. Now I'll just make a three ring trading card binder to put this in. If we find any other useful structures, I could turn them into cards for me to use. That way we'll always have what we need. What? You can make a three ring bi trading card binder or something made out of composite materials, but not a steel freaking door. At my priorities. Now, the thing is, when you get cards like that, what you do is you hold on a sec. Hey, what are these card shape slots in the pause menu? Thought I'd better explain it. The what? The card I could, the card I made could fit right into it. Oh no! Does this game have a trading card mechanic? Can't wait to leave this place. I don't know what that means. You'll find your card catalog under items. The cards Christy make could be equipped and bestow mysterious effects. We're equipping cards now? Well, okay then, I'm glad I could help provide trading cards. It could be worse. It could be sitting unused in a three ring binder. It's going to be collector's items. But, nothing. Sam, I hope these help us on our journey out here. So, yeah, so, we can equip cards, and this uh, space station door gives us the ability to find more drops from enemies so now it's equipped we can just move on Ah, you tried it, buddy. That is a doorknob you are. We win. And we're almost there to leveling up. Okay, let's make a door. I was just about to leave that square.
Try me. There's a door up, bro. I have minus five charisma. Why is that? I just. Or is that the enemy I was staring at? We got hairballs. You found a treasure chest. Oh, frick yeah, treasure. Yeah, open the box. We almost never find large quantities of money. This is exciting. You open the chest. Dozens of playing cards and le a letter falls out. What? You read the letter. It says, A good shopkeep must acquire their goods from somewhere. If possible, please transmit a characterized bill to our employers. Their realm doesn't exist in a tangible form you can comprehend, so good luck. If you're an adventurer of some kind, please waste your extremely short lifespan in our abode. I'm so mad about this, I'm calm. <laughs> I've, I've, I've seen people who are like that. I, I'm not even on the square. I failed it because it popped up too fast and for some reason the frame rate's taking a dump. Aether, ball, soggy boot. Yep, this is shopkeep. Good eve, Moro, and states in between. I'm Zixel Deform, your humble shopkeeper. Brow, is that necessary? We can sell the boot. All right, we have $105. What can we buy? Nothing. We could buy an extra apple. An infernal unit of NU for your thoughts. Well, all this is really confusing. I wanted to ask. Oh no, our apologies. This was not an invitation to talk to us. We have a collection of thoughts, and we were making an offer of purchase. We shall work to be more clear in the future. Okay, that's what they all have to say. Alright, leave. Sprint, 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 sprint. You tried. We leveled up. Let's get some more TP. We. Oh, there's a cutscene. I'm not controlling this. Christy, Summer! Dude, this is my partner. Both in crime and in life. Who's the pixel person? He's helping us navigate the video game and find the portal. Any luck on your end, Sweet Pea? Yeah. I've scouted it and I think it's up ahead. You're definitely gonna need your new friend to get to it. 
Is it that bad? Well, we've seen worse, but I can't engage because I'm not part of this battle party. So it looks like you guys are on your own. Finley, Wolf. Psst, want to see something funny? Hey, Finley, what was it you were saying about Lucas? Or Lucius? That mm, it's gonna. How is she doing that? I think the game was trying to be family friendly and she's being censored. Life is beautiful sometimes. I'll see all of you at the hospital. Or the portal. I say hospital? I don't know why. I think we're taking it as a soir. It's too bad your parameter couldn't stay with us. We won't need them. Plus, they're tough. They'll be fine. Yeah, we'll see them in a minute. Since they won't have to deal with us anymore. This cabin is unlocked. Find something. Fuzzballs? Ah, oh, yes, the Fuzzball Brigade. Triple murder. Empty. Excuse open up to an email. I understand you have had issues neutralizing your newest recruits. I read that already. Well, that was has to be the giant monster in the tank, yeah? I don't like that. Yeah, the, uh, I'm, I skipped over that one because I'm, I'm not strapped for time. I just want to not waste you guys' time and get to the next save point. Fresh meat. You guys hear something? Come forward. Yeah, like we're going to go in any other direction. Alright, here we go. Now, that's just a snippet of the game. I wanted to show you guys this game because I thought it was really cute. I made a review of it. And not only that, there's so many good things going for it. It's a game where you get to make your own character and enjoy your own little story and try and survive and have fun. Not to mention that it's free. It's a demo right now, but it's free. And the developer's working on it at this moment to try and, like, finish the game so people can play it further. Because the game is... It's not super short, but it's long enough for you to understand how the game works. The combat, the story, what's going on, and some of the mechanics. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. And that was your adventure. Hope you guys enjoyed it.